If you guys haven't heard, Apple just released Final Cut Pro 11. It's available for you guys to download and update for free right now if you guys go to the App Store. It's very simple. So what you want to do first is hold Option on the keyboard and drag upwards to duplicate the clip. Then once you have your copied clip above, you're going to go over to the effects. You're going to go into the masks and keying, and you're going to have the magnetic mask if you just scroll down a little bit. So what you want to do is just click and drag this onto the top clip, and you're going to see a couple of tools. So the way this works, it's very simple. What you want to do is just move the playhead to to the beginning, let's say. In this case, I want to only select his sunglasses and only his sunglasses. So you're gonna click once. If you wanna disable the contour mask is what they call it, just click on this little rectangle icon and this will show you anything in red is what's going to be selected. But let's say you don't want his face selected. How do you remove from the selection? Just hold option and click. In this case, I selected his forehead. So hold option again and kind of refine it to however you want. This is doing a really good job. So I'm gonna hold option and just click again. Sometimes it messes up. If it does, you can just press command Z to go backwards. If you go over to the brush tool over here, you're gonna see it says add to mask with a brush. So if you click on this, it will switch your tool to a brush. So I'm just gonna paint over the area that I want. Now, once you're happy with your selection, you can click the analyze button and this will analyze only the clip that you have selected in the timeline, which is from here to here. If you don't wanna hold option the entire time, just click on these buttons and this X button will clear the current frame, but not everything. If you wanna erase everything, just click reset. This little person plus button will add a new mask to the effect. Okay, so this will add multiple masks. And if you click on the inspector window, this is where you can see all of your settings. So you can disable the selection and then you can use this to feather the mask outwards or feather it inwards. And you can change the color of the mask. If you click on this little red button, it will bring up a new window where you can change the color of the mask if you need to see this mask a little bit better. You can easily do that. And this little person icon just shows you the on-screen controls. And this also works just as a regular mask. So if you click on this little view mask, it will switch to the regular mask selection. So I'm going to turn off the view masks. This allows you to also add a shape mask, just like a regular mask in the inspector window. You can add a shape mask, a color mask. You can also add another magnetic mask. And you can also invert the mask once you've tracked it, of course. So I'm gonna make sure that's checked though. I'm gonna go ahead and click on analyze. Once you click the analyze button, it's going to use AI to track whatever you have masked in this case. So I'll let this kind of uh, do its thing and I'll come back to you once it's finished. So if I push play, you can see there's a lot of movement going on. He's moving around a lot really quickly, but it does a phenomenal job of selecting the sunglasses. And now you have your mask selected and you can check by just disabling the bottom clip and pressing V and you can see it's kind of just floating around. Play it through to see how long you want this effect to last. And then we're gonna trim the clip. So we're gonna trim this bottom clip inwards to this in the playhead. Okay, so now you're gonna have this floating kind of mask, which looks kind of cool in itself, but that's not the effect that I want in this case. So I'm going to to invert the mask. So where it says view masks, you're gonna see this little icon, click on this and go to where it says invert masks. We're gonna click on this to uncheck that. So the clip beneath it is what's gonna be shown through. Cut the end of this top clip right here. So now if I push play, it's gonna kind of cut like that. Now what I wanna do is go to the beginning and go to the down arrow right here and go to crop. And you're gonna go over to the Ken Burns and you're gonna switch these. So we're gonna click on this little invert button and you're gonna click and drag on one of the green box here. You're gonna move that into the mask. So make sure this is smaller than our mask inside as well. It's starting inside of the mask and it's gonna to fit to this red box here. Make sure this is not, you know, like this or something like that because this will show. And now if I push play, it's gonna look just like that. And we can make this look a little bit smoother because we have our magnetic mask. You can make all these adjustments without having to retract anything. So I'm gonna move the feather inwards just to make it nice and soft of a feather like that. But once you reach like the end right here, you can actually click and drag this to move it even more. So it looks like that, it looks way smoother. If you wanna add some motion blur, just go over to the blur and then go to the top and add a directional blur onto the mask. So now it looks like it's a lot smoother, but you have that effect right here, super clean. Find awesome drag and drop editing packs on my website. Choose your favorite, add it to your cart and download instantly. Just drag and drop the assets into your timeline. Check out kingtutspro.com for more. So same exact thing. What you're gonna do in this case is I want to make sure that our mask is not being covered by anything. So his hand gets in front of the golf ball. I want to make sure right around here, 
we can now make a full selection of our golf ball. So we're gonna press Command B to split the clip, hold Option and just drag upwards. And we're gonna add that magnetic mask. So go to the mask and king, scroll down and add the magnetic mask. Same process, so I'm just gonna click here and you can see it does a really good job. I'm gonna hold Option and just click just to get it right here. There we go, perfect. So now it only selected our golf ball. Now we're gonna click on Analyze. And this is a shorter clip, so it's probably not gonna take that long. So you can see it did a really good job. Now I'm gonna click on done, trim the end of this clip here. I think this is fine for now. So I'm gonna add a keyframe right there and go to the end of this clip here. Go one frame to the left, just press the left arrow key on the keyboard, click and drag this to the right of the screen or wherever you want it to be. So I'm gonna click on done right here. We might need to just delete this actually. So now it's a little bit better <laughs> of an effect. And then let's say we wanted to go to the blur, directional blur and add a blur to this so that it looks like it's being thrown and boom, there you go. And then we have the split clones effects. This one's really easy. So go to where you want it to start, maybe right here. So command B and I want it to end right uh, maybe here. Now what you're gonna do is hold option, drag upwards. So you're just gonna go to the masks. You're gonna add a magnetic mask, add it onto that clip. So click once I'm selecting him and it does a really good job. It kind of missed this area. So I can just easily fix that by using the brush tool. So I'm gonna zoom in onto his scarf, click and paint over it. This is where this would be very handy is using the brush tool. I'm gonna enable the selection so I can see what's going on here. I'm gonna make the brush size smaller and use the removal tool. And I'm gonna click and just paint over this area now, just like that. Okay, so click on analyze. So once it's finished, the mask is gonna look like this. It does a really good job of selecting his hair. That would have been a nightmare doing it manually. So I'm really glad we have this tool. So now we're gonna click on done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this again. So hold option and drag upwards. So we're duplicating the mask that we just tracked. And now we're gonna select this bottom clip here, the middle one, and we'll go over to transform. We're gonna add a keyframe and we're gonna go towards the middle under X, click and drag and move this towards the middle here, however much you want this. You can do a one person or multiple clones if you want. I'm gonna do three, so I'm gonna kind of space them out accordingly. Click on done, so now it looks like this. I'm gonna go towards the end, go back one frame right there, then go to the X and you're gonna type in zero. So now it's gonna look like this. It kind of goes out and it goes in. If you want it to stay on screen a little longer, just add another keyframe here. So press Command Z and maybe right here, I would add a keyframe next to position and then move the playhead towards the end again. Go one frame to the left and type in zero for X and press enter. And now it will stay on screen, stay put, and then go back. Then what you wanna do, if you want three clones, the middle clip, you're gonna duplicate one more time. So hold option, drag upwards, let go and you're gonna right click on this video, go to show video animation, go to where those points are. This first keyframe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to the X and I'm gonna drag this out further out to the right so we can see it. So like this, I'm gonna go to here. I wanna make sure that stays exactly where it's at. So you can just copy this exact number, double click, press command C, go right here and paste it, click enter. So now if I push play, and if you want to make this smoother, you can, of course, as always, add a blur to it. So just add a directional blur to those clones and it'll look a lot smoother. So what I would do is play it through and right here is fine. I'll press command B to split the clip, hold option, drag it upwards, go to the masks, add a magnetic mask, let go. You're going to click once to select the badge and I'm going to use the brush tool and we're going to click and drag to make our selection of our badge. So kind of like this. So I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger. So kind of like this. So now I'm going to click on analyze. Okay. It just finished and you can see it did a really good job. It only tracked what we've selected and what we wanted. Same exact thing like the previous one. You're going to go to the bottom clip here and you're going to drag this inwards, but the clip before it kind of shifts inwards and it goes like this, okay? So you can do something like this if you want, or you can cut it right here, press command B to split the clip. I'm gonna go to the beginning, I'm gonna go to transform, move this out. So I want it to start out of the frame. I'm also going to rotate this and maybe make this smaller too, just to make it look a little bit different, you know? Then we're gonna add a keyframe over here, go one frame to the left, so press the left arrow key. So next to X for the position, we're gonna type in zero, and we're gonna type in zero for Y. For the rotation, because we adjusted that, we're gonna type in zero. And for scale all, we're gonna type in 100, which is the default, and press enter. So now it should just go back to the exact values as before, click on done. It is moving, so we need some type of blur. So we're gonna go to the blur over here, and we're gonna add a, my 
favorite, <laughs> the directional blur. So just add that there. And because it is coming from the right side, we're gonna just move it like that. And I push play and it looks super clean, just like that. Find awesome drag and drop editing packs on my website. Choose your favorite, add it to your cart and download instantly. Just drag and drop the assets into your timeline. Check out kingtutspro.com for more. If you guys found this video helpful, a like and a subscribe would be awesome. So I'll catch you guys next time.